In this video we show how you can uh, filter a report based on the same filter that has been applied to a list control in a UX component. So this uh, feature f uh, mirrors the functionality that you see in a grid component where you can filter a report based on the grid's current filter. So you can see we have a simple UX component over here that has a list control that is based on a uh, SQL uh, query and um, then we also have um, a button here that filters the list so you can see this button executes a filter records in list control action which uh, uh, filters the record in the list and it searches for basically uh, all records that um, have the country that is specified in this search field. So if we go now and uh, we run the component we can see now that we can easily go for example and search for all records in either the UK or Canada and that's because we uh, turned on the allow QBF option over here so you can see when we defined the search here we specified that QBF syntax was supported so that's why we can type UK comma Canada or say maybe um, Argentina dot dot Mexico which would be all uh, countries between Argentina and uh, Mexico. So you can see how that we've also uh, put some debugging code on the component. We went to the defined control section here and we said add, add list debugging information which um, and then we chose which list we were talking about and that added the static text control over there with the special placeholder called uh, list state so you can see that when we actually uh, perform the search the um, debugging information tells us what the um, current uh, filter that has been applied uh, to the list is. So now when we go to the actual button that prints the report you can see there's our uh, button and you can see we just got action JavaScript here and when we edit this action we can see that the filter that is being applied to the list is the special um, syntax here called current list filter and then in paren list one so that's the filter that we're going to get from list number one so in order to figure out um, that syntax we just press the help button over here and you can see that it's described uh, there at the uh, bottom of the uh, the help window so um, so for the for this particular report we're specifying that the filter is the current list filter and list number one and that the order is current list order uh, for list number one so that means that when the report is printed we're going to be reading the filter and order from the current uh, list control so let's go ahead now and run this again so let's now go ahead and change this to say Mexico and uh, Argentina hit the search button so you can see now we've got our search over there and now if we go ahead say and print report you can see we're getting Argentina and Mexico so uh, this ability to print a report based on the current uh, filter that has been applied to the list uh, is very useful and just to stress yeah this is we're talking about the server side filter that has been applied to the list so this would not uh, uh, use any client-side filtering that had been applied to the list. Thank you very much for watching.